Bonjour, je m'appelle Marius, and today, welcome to another episode of Civilization VI. We are playing as the French Empire under Catherine de' Medici, and we will take over the world. Boy, I, I wish uh, we did, but we are a little far behind, as you can see. We are in second place for science, fifth place for culture, twelfth place for domination, and sixth place for religious. But, nevertheless, we shall prevail with the Bastille and all. So, what did we do in the previous episodes? We have settled the city of Lyon. We have 14 turns until that granary is going to be complete. We have two turns till our commercial hub is complete. One more turn till Paris grows. We have settled up towards this way, and I desire to move this way. However, with uh, Brazil here, it might be a little difficult. But we haven't technically met them yet, and if we can continue doing so without meeting them, we might actually get Scott off free without any diplomatic consequences, which would be very nice. So, what do we plan to do? I plan, currently, we want to finish this commercial hub, we want to purchase another trader, get that trade going, increase our gold output. Ultimately, that will allow us to buy more buildings so we can hopefully improve this faith count. We want to, uh, I tend to play very religiously, and I do not tend to make this an exception. So, we want to make sure this barbarian does not kill our wonderful hanging garden right here. That would be terrible. An unmet player has been defeated, really. So, I'm assuming this uh, already captured the capital of another player. War has no bounds, even this early in the game, I assume. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't think we're going to change any policies right now. Uh, it doesn't look like we have anything to really change. Choose our production. Wants us to build an oracle, or we could build a trader. We want to just fought out by the trader. Two ten. We would get that next turn, but we'd also waste all our gold, or we could save up to buy the shrine. Let's see. It is five turns to build the trader, or six turns to build the shrine. Trader is cheaper than the shrine, so. We're going to start building the shrine. Right? Yeah. We're going to start building the shrine and we will purchase that trader next turn. We're going to attack them so they do not take us down later on. Let's end it right here. I apologize. I know uh, you probably had a valid reason for coming into my land, but we just, just wasn't working out. I'm sure you understand. Isabel, America has progressed from the ancient era to the classical era. Hey, say, man, welcome to the party. Glad you can join us. Uh, the French wine is in the back, if you could find it. I haven't been able to find it yet, nor do I ever think I will, but that is irrelevant. We're going to upgrade you to that, and we're going to retreat you back into the city for the next turn. Once we get that trader up, we're going to focus most of our gold on this city up here. We're going to need to turn it into quite the city if we want it to combat anything that comes up this way. They are very far apart, so we cannot rely on Paris up here. We've got to treat it almost like it's a separate sieve for now. I forgot to purchase the trader. Oh, man, I'm going to lose a turn. Sorry. Lion needs more housing to keep growing. Well, that granary will be complete soon. I notice our gold's increasing. But uh, I'm not necessarily doing anything to actually do that, so I don't know if it's just doing it naturally. What's it necessarily doing there? But I'm gonna purchase our trader. Assign him a trade route once his uh, turn happens. We don't have much to do at this point. We're more just playing the great waiting game. Hyros Securiasan, right? 
Ah, uh, I probably butchered that, I apologize. Stands before you, a Viking unlike any of the seas and lands I've ever known. Ha, are you afraid? Well, you seem like a very uh, strong man. I'd shake your hand, but I'd end up ultimately just hitting my computer monitor, so I will give you a thumbs up from the Maria Studio. Would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? Thank you, my friend. Oh, okay, so we're friends of the Norwegian Empire right now, and that means he won't be attacking us anytime soon. Hopefully. You never know. Where did uh where did we meet this fellow? Is he uh by the sea? Maybe he managed by a sea route. Trader. Okay. So Want to make a trade route. What do we want to make it with, though? I would go to Cairo, because that would improve relations with um, our Arabian allies. However, this barbarian encampment down there sort of deters me from doing that, and also it doesn't seem like Cairo really has a solid hold on the territories they own, because there is a barbarian encampment over there. So I don't want to um, get it stolen and waste all that gold that we just spent. So we might send it over to Prislav. Roughly the same. We would just get more production. Instead of rather than the science, we would get the production and at this point in the game it's only one. I think that'd be perfectly fine. Earning thirty one point twenty four gold. I believe this trade route just ended. We'll reassign that to Lisbon. I have sent you traders with gifts of rune stones. They are powerful, the stones, not the traders. <laughs> your delegation is most welcome. And your humor. Creating a tra completing a trade route. Ooh, free trading post. I'll take it. Go to Lisbon, get you eight gold. Let's do it. Now we have that trading post. Does that provide a specific buff? And if so, are we able to find out what that is? Hmm. Not yet. Our, uh, the good thing is our shrine will be complete next turn, which will boost our faith a little bit, get us towards that great profit. It appears that uh, Cairo is attempting to trade with us as they are building a road. Roads can only be built in this game through the trade routes, I believe, so makes sense a little bit. That would be a very powerful wonder, however, I want to focus more on increasing Paris than making world wonders. I looked it up. I originally, I got it wrong. Um, the, uh, the bonus that the French get for doing the wonders only happens in the medieval era and up. So when I originally did hanging gardens, I'm like, oh yeah, we'll do it. Cause we got a bonus, but I was wrong. So, uh, I deeply apologize. Uh, still definitely worth it to build it though. Gain some growth from doing that in Paris will hopefully turn into a superpower. That is the hope anyway. I'm going to build the market instead of the monument. I want to focus more on gold right now because I want to try and improve this city as much as I can through that. Another player defeated. Hmm. Alright, and we are getting past in science. We gotta step up our game. The one thing I do enjoy about building a strong economy in the game though is that through gold you can almost do anything else because through purchasing it allows you to do a much wider range rather than just focusing on one thing and building it. So through gold, you can do almost everything else. That's at least how I like to look at it a little bit. That's, uh, I guess, whatever sort of floats your boat in a way. But I 
All right, so we have confirmed that Rome is on this map. Cynthian, Cynthia, that's her, right? No. Right, yeah, I guess. It's not actually her name. I guess it meant Cynthian. Slowly, but it turns. Amen. Research complete. Okay, what do we want to focus on next? Mathematics, Petra. Shipbuilding, engineering. Hmm. The options, the options. Half of me wants to go for archery, because uh, it appears we're very far behind, and that would lead to... Uh, Ooh, he's a little far behind. I feel a little bad. We want to go to bronze working because that will ultimately lead us to iron working, I believe it was. Yes, and that will give us the swordsmen. Should we ever need to defend ourselves, it'll definitely help. While this, uh, Arabia has progress from the ancient era to the classical era. Congratulations. What can we purchase for you, my city? So I think one thing we're going to do is, when this granary is complete, it'll help us house a little more, give us more population. I'm going to purchase these tiles. Now, when you claim these tiles with a builder, I think it automatically adds one population to the city, and plus we could do some builders to improve these stratagems that we have right around there, and it'll definitely help Leon get on its way, because he's on his way to glory. So one turn that'll be complete. But the market will also increase. Paris is nine turns away from growing. I don't know what Cairo's doing with this road though. Seems they have a holy site here. A few camps. They must be getting plagued by barbarians. Do we want to change? No, not yet. We gotta to get to that early government though. Because we have all these uh things. We just can't change it yet. So close yet so far. All right, we built a commercial hub here, and which is good because we wanted to focus primarily on trade with these two city-states. However, over here, we are falling a little behind in science, and I think that's a very important thing to keep up on. So we are going to build the compass. And I believe we should be able to purchase a builder. Yes. We don't necessarily need the culture right now. I know we wanted the focus towards that government, but I believe this is more important. Purchase that builder will improve this cotton over here, get us some more gold, and we will claim these bananas. Because who does not like bananas? Well, a lot of people probably. Open borders for open borders? Yeah, why not? I know, I don't really know where your border is, but if you want it, you can have it. Wow, we got a lot of players being defeated. I don't know if this is just a notification that I haven't removed, or if we're just dropping like flies, man. Alright, what do we want to do here? Okay, so I believe we get improvements from mines through religion, or is that only... quarries? I believe it's only quarries. I'll have to double check that. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a plantation. Plus one more gold. Got you working on that. 
and we want to purchase some tiles. I don't think we can right now. We need to wait till next turn to do that. I believe the game I played before this I was playing is Rome, and the thing I loved about Rome was every time you founded a new city, it would immediately make a road to Rome, and you would start out with a new trader, and I guess I th sort of got so used to that that I thought uh, that was how it was always going to be, and I was mistaken about that. It's a little hard to get used to, that I have to uh, physically build these commercial hubs now, and uh, roads for the traders to walk on. We're going to purchase the bananas right here. That'll be our next goal right there. That'll immediately claim some population for the city, allow us to work more tiles, focus on production, and ultimately getting the city set up a little faster. Another location we could look into is over here. We would have two production, three production, especially from the ivory. Plus on the settling space, we'd have the bonus resources of the fish and possibly spread towards wheat if it spread it over there. But I wanted to get this part because it's highly contested and if Brazil came down here and took it while we were focusing our efforts over here, I would never forgive myself. So that was the mindset at the time, but we want to try and get a settler over here. That would probably be our next best option. Could try and expand over here. I don't necessarily know what's here. We could try and get a scout as well. Not much going on. I feel like I'm pressing next turn a lot without necessarily doing much, but it's the OA game. Still in 1000 BC. We haven't reached the strong navy. That's a beautiful sight. I don't have a navy, though, but I would like one if you're selling. No? Alright. Or maybe he was being sarcastic. He's like, oh yeah, I wish you had a strong navy. here and we are going to claim that resource next turn. How much are these settlers? They are 400. Wow, that is expensive. How much to produce? Nine. That actually might not be a bad idea. Especially since markets are completing next turn and we'll have another pop by the time we actually complete that. Normally I like to buy them, but in that circumstance Alright, so we are done over here. We can add the water mill or the settler. I'm going to personally go for the settler. I want to get that city out as soon as possible. Builder, we are going to have you claim that resource. Negative 15. Oh no. Okay, what have I done? That's 15 turns until loss. Okay, we gotta fix this somehow. I don't know how. Hmm. Okay, well you are starving and we need to fix this. So we are currently building the campus. Will that provide housing? And if not, we need to do something. Now is it a food issue or is it a housing issue? Do we need to buy more tiles? Or construct more improvements? Maybe an improvement issue. Whatever the issue, we gotta get it solved. I don't wanna lose that after we claimed it. You, sir, are gonna come over to this Mercury, and we're gonna construct a mine, and hopefully that'll add a little more housing. I believe. Oh, good. Okay, now we're up to 77. At least we're not at loss. That is the main upside to that. Arabia? Are you invading? That would not be nice. I, I don't appreciate that. He's met all the same civs as us. Probably through the... Uh, 
C site. Uh, if you come over here, and before we click next turn, we are out of time for today. So I am Marius, telling you to stay Yugend. I've been saying stay Yugend a lot. That actually means stay young, or stay youthful in German. Uh, friend told me that, and I was uh, that was before I actually came up with the name Yugend. But they were like, oh yeah, by the way, it means youth. And I was like, oh man, that's so cool. It's destiny. It must have meant to happen. But I am Marius signing off, saying stay, Yugen. Don't forget to check in for the next episode. And I will see you next time.